Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use Arraycast in Unity 5. So Arraycast is a way of sending out kind of a signal from whatever object you have a script attached to to see the distance between you and whatever object you're looking at. This is usually used on a first person controller or a third person controller in most games. So I have this quick little scene set up, it's nothing spectacular, a couple of things around with the first person controller in. And I'm going to create a C sharp script and I'm just going to call it casting. Now I'm doing this in C sharp, but it can be done in JavaScript. There isn't too much of a difference between the two scripts. Um, I'll let you know as we go along if you want to do it in JavaScript where you need to change things. So uh, when you load up your script, get rid of void start, do not need that. Firstly, we need to define the variable, um, which is going to be the target distance. So we need to put public float target distance, semicolon. And obviously, if you're doing JavaScript, you would declare your variable slightly differently there. Next thing is in the void update itself, we need to do another variable, which is going to be a ray cast hit. So ray cast hit. And I'm going to call it the hit. So once again, if you're using JavaScript, you would do that a bit differently. So we need to do if, and in brackets, we need to put physics dot ray cast, and in brackets, transform dot position, and then comma, and we need to do transform dot transform direction. And then at this point, we need to do in brackets vector three dot forward, close bracket, and then comma. And then we need to put the word out. And then we need to put our variable, which is the raycast it in this case, the hit, and then close bracket, close bracket, open curly bracket. So quickly, just to recap this line, all we're doing is sending out a ray cast and we're setting our position and our direction. So in this case, the position of whatever object we're attached to and we're going forward using vector three. So whatever way we're looking and then we're determining the distance between wherever we are and whatever we're looking at and putting it into this variable here called the hit. So to get this into a figure that we can use, i.e. it's a reference. And um, we can just simply put target distance equals the hit dot distance, semicolon, and then close curly bracket and save. So if you were doing this in uh, JavaScript, all you would need to do on this particular line here is miss out the word out. It is only C sharp script. You need to put the word out if you're doing that. So if we head back to Unity. All we would need to do is put the script we've written right here onto our first person controller. So drag and drop straight onto there. And if we click on it, you'll see down the bottom that we have the casting script and you'll see target distance. So if we press play, when it loads up, you should see that that target distance changes to whatever we're looking at. So if we look off into the distance, uh, let's go over here. And look over there, you'll see it's well, quite high. But then as we start looking to the floor, it gets lower. As we go towards the tree, it gets lower and lower. So you can see we're, in this case, one away from the tree. And it changes every time you move. So the same applies to the rock right here. So Arraycast is most useful in pretty much all types of games. For example, if you have... Um, if you you want to attack an enemy, you need to see your distance between yourself and the enemy, you would use Raycast. Same applies with uh, guns. If you've got a shooting game, you need a Raycast to see how far away your enemy is. So that is how you create a Raycast in Unity 5. Thank you very much for watching.